uh, yeah, let's start with the Kevin Durant. We watched it in horror because we always knew there was a chance we that it could happen. We were still on the air when it happened. Were we? I yeah. thought we were over there. No, no, we were still in the air. It happened three minutes into the second Oh, that's right, into quarter. the second quarter before we even got over there. That's right. We were watching and we couldn't believe it. But <sighs> it was heart-wrenching. I mean, seriously. It really was. Because you know, it was terrible. He he went out there. He showed a lot of heart. He showed a lot of grit to want to get out there and play. And he played tremendously. And I still think his presence was a factor in that game because it helped well, just, the Warriors get off to a great start. Just to get him out there. And they shot the ball real well. But here's my only issue, Chris. And I'm not – we can sit here and, and, and second guess all we want. And that, part of what we do, we do second guess. But I never thought – we both talked about this. I never thought he was going to play again this Neither year. Neither one I, of us Am I thought, right? right? We did not think that because I know that they kind of soft-soaked the injury and told us it was a calf. We were like, ah, we're, we're not sure. He's been off for 30 days. Uh, is he playing because they're in a 3-1 hole and desperate? And is he playing because it's the NBA Finals and there's only three more games in the entire basketball season? Or is it really that he's recovered like that? And you can see all you want and say, well, he said the doctor said it's okay, and he said he wanted to play, so that's – all right, end of story. No, sometimes a team has to stop a player. Because all most players, Chris, I'll say most, not all, most players want to play. And once they get the high sign from the doctor, they okay, they're on board. They know they don't feel 100% or they're not exactly the way that they were, but they want to go out there. There's a lot of there's risk and reward. There's reward that he could have come back out there somehow, some way, got through those three games, helped him win a championship. His his legendary status He's goes le- through the roof. Right. No he becomes a, le- a living legend. No question. Came back on a busted leg and won three straight games or uh, would yeah. have been the finals MVP. Finals MVP, won again, three in a row, three finals MVP. What? And he wasn't even 100%, right? So a player, I get it. But I think the Warriors let him down last night. They they let him down. Well, speaking of the Warriors, let's hear what their GM, Bob Myers, who spoke after the game, here's what he says. Very emotional. It's an Achilles injury. I don't know uh, the extent of it. He'll have an MRI tomorrow. Prior to coming back, he went through four weeks with our medical team, and it was thorough, and it was experts, and multiple MRIs and multiple doctors, um, and we felt good about the process. Uh, he was cleared to play tonight. That, that was a collaborative decision. Those were the fur, the fakest wet uh, tears, crocodile tears that I've seen, Chris. First of all, there were no tears, and that, you know, the little boo-hooing he was doing, that was the worst job of anybody on television since Robin Givens did it with Mike Tyson on the old Barbara Walters special. And if you never saw it, Google it. <laughs> go watch it. And see YouTube how great. And see, YouTube it. And go see her next to him with that. I'm not buying Myers today. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm not. He got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Yes. Now, oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Did he think about this is the problem I have? Yes, the reward for the Warriors was that they had a chance to get back in the series and maybe win another title. But he didn't look at the negative, which is this young man could have hurt his career. We don't know whether KD will ever be the KD we we saw before this, Chris. We don't know that. I'm not saying that that's the case. Right. But that's a big uh, thing to just, like, ignore and not take into consideration that this guy hadn't played for 30 days and they they downplayed the injury from the beginning. That's the problem that I have. And here's the last part I'm going to get, and I'm going to turn it back over to you. You can't believe team doctors. It's a conflict of interest. They work for the team. And I'm not saying that they're doing it deliberately, but their job is to get players back out on the court, back on the field. That is what their job is. And if you're a doctor who works for a team... And, Chris, you can't get players back on the field or the court. They don't want you as a doctor. They will get rid of you. So it is in your best interest to do what you got to do to get those players out there. And that's why people laughed at Kawhi Leonard down in San Antonio because he wouldn't listen to their team doctors when they cleared him. 
He said, no, I'm not playing. I don't care what they say. And he got his own doctors. So my point is, something's got to change here when you talk about team doctors who get paid by the team. I I can't disagree with most of what you said. Uh, I, I thought it was well said by you. And we're going to have David Child, Dr. David Child, on, who's a former NFL team doctor. Uh, we'll have him on in about 20 minutes. A uh, few things. Number one, every the reaction that Kevin Durant had when he first injured his calf, or is what they said, against Houston, was the same reaction that everyone I know who's had an Achilles injury. We've seen it when you reach had. back you and feel you feel like you, you got, got shot. Kicked. Right. You got kicked, hit with a bat in the in the leg, yes. all that. You reach it back. It was the same thing that Kevin Durant did. Number one. That's why everyone and Reggie Miller, who was calling the game, said it. He everyone thought it was an Achilles. And then they came back and said, What? Oh, it's a calf strain, which which right away you go, oh, maybe he can come back from right, that. Right. You would have said Achilles from day one. He wouldn't have come back. He wouldn't have come back. Secondly, if they were up 3-1 or tied 2-2, I don't think Kevin Durant plays. I think it was a desperation move. They felt like they needed him to play to try to win this series. So there's that. And as far as where you place blame – and I'm not absolving Bob Myers. He said it himself. He's the head of basketball operations. I'm not absolving Steve Kerr, who holds lesser blame. He's a coach. He doesn't necessarily deal with that stuff. But Bob Myers and Steve Kerr are only – they're not doctors. So they're going off the medical teams, what they're telling them. No, I understand Just like that. we would do. If we got doctors that work for us, what are, what are you telling us? What's the deal? And Rachel Nichols from ESPN said last night she walked out of the arena last night with Steve Kerr and that he said to her multiple times, according to her, the doctors told us he couldn't injure himself further. We hear that all the time, right? right. Which always has baffled me. Me too like, when I hear that. Yeah, you can't hurt it anymore. What? What? That doesn't seem to make sense to me. But do, right. we hear it all the time, and apparently it's that's hurt, what they and told. and that's as bad right. as it's going to get, right. and there's nothing you can do. We've heard that. And so if indeed this is true, that the doctor said Kevin Durant could not hurt himself any worse, then it's the doctors who deserve the blame. Period. The end. And, uh, you know, so you, now you have to look at why the Warriors had those doctors hired. And you say to yourself, it is a conflict of interest. Every player should get a second opinion. No doubt about it. They should have their own independent doctor who's not on the company payroll. Chris, you know this. When you work for somebody and you're on the payroll, that's where your butter's br- uh, your uh, bread's buttered. So you you know what the deal is. No, this this is this is bizarre. And look, we've seen a few examples of these. For all those who killed Kawhi Leonard, Kawhi Leonard did the smart thing. Isaiah Thomas, who played in Boston a few years, he lost. He, lost he was clear to go out there and play on that bad hip. And what and happened? He did, and he played well, and they got to the conference finals. And then, when the hip was worse, you know, a series is over, and they find out the hip is worse than it is. He never gets his big deal. He was in line for about a hundred million. He was in line for a big contract. Did the Celtics step up and go? Wait a minute. You you played for us. You gave your all. You put your body on the line. Let us give you a deal. No. And the same thing right now. Myers, instead of your crocodile tears, you should be holding a press conference right now saying on midnight of free agency, we're signing KD or at least going to offer him a max deal. He gave his all for us, and we put him in jeopardy, and now we're going to compensate him no matter if he can play or not. Five years, two hundred and twenty. Am I million right, dollars. Chris? They should offer him that on the. I don't the think you should Eve. say no matter whether he well, can but, play or not. But I'm just saying. But he went out there play for next them. Year. If he can't play for four years, I'm not offering him that. But if he's not going to play next year, but he's going to be healthy after that, yeah, I offer him a five-year, two hundred twenty-one million dollar deal. And I just Today. wonder, had he been signed, would they have rushed him out there? If they had that on the table, what'd you say? Five years, 221 million. 21 million. I bet you because it would have been their investment 
and they'd have to look out for themselves to say, you know what, I don't know if we want to chance it. It's unbelievable. All right, we're going to let you guys weigh in. 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Who do you blame for this? Do you blame no one? Is it just an unfortunate situation? Do you blame Kevin Durant? I was talking to some people today around the league who blamed his agent, Rich Kleiman. Like, you need to step in and protect KD from himself. From himself. What are you doing? So obviously, you can blame the Warriors basketball staff, their medical team. Who do you place this on the feet of? 